I'm an outsourced CFO and COO for, for companies, um, generally under $10 million, for the folks that are just getting to the point that they need to expand their, um, their, their business and they need to, to really focus on what do they do well. It's, a lot of that is, let's go in and talk about you know, the SWOT analysis that people do, the, the strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats. It's amazing how many people are spending a lot of time in their weak areas, and they're not spending a lot of time in their strengths. And so a lot of times I'll go in and I'll help them focus on what their strengths are, and I'll take off the pieces that they're weak at. And so if you, you think about those smaller companies, the guys or the ladies that are um, very good at selling, uh, creating partnerships, expanding their business, um, those are uh, great opportunities for me to help them take the things off that they're not very good at. And so, uh, and the other piece is, I actually enjoy helping a lot more than one company. Traditionally, people like me are working for one company, that's their job, they do that their whole lives and they retire. I love helping a bunch of different companies. And that's, I think, a very rewarding thing. The most common problem that I see is, uh, well, it's a little deep, but at the beginning, they don't like to share what's going on with their business. They tell you everything's fine, oh, we're doing great, you know, we're a, a million dollar business and, uh, you know, yeah. we brought on a bunch of new clients. And, and so there's a trust thing, right? They, they don't want to tell you about the bad news. That, that's typically, I think, in, in a lot of areas. Uh, uh, the problem that I recognize is getting them to tell me what the problems are. And sometimes they don't even realize, realize it themselves. A lot of times it's just um, they tell you the, the, the surface. They tell you the, uh, what's really happening with their business. They don't tell you the deeper issues that maybe they have an employee problem. Um, so, so, so they're looking at the symptoms as opposed to the real issues. They, they may be looking at the symptoms. They may be uh, not even recognizing that, oh, geez, I'm, I'm spending half of my day going over my day-to-day -day stuff when I should be looking at a better way of handling this, this work. An example would be um, a company that gets in a lot of leads. They're, they do marketing and a bunch of leads come in. And they go out to the sales team and the sales team's got to uh, manage all of those leads. And the, the uh, owner of the business at the end of the day is saying, okay, I got 27 leads that came in today. How did we do on each one of them? And he'll want to go through and look at all those leads and figure it out. Okay, well, two hours went by. That, that's a pretty uh, tough way to keep on top of things. And what happens when it gets to 54 leads? You, you can't keep doing that. And so they get stuck doing their day-to-day -day business and they're not really looking at it from a, an, an outside level to say, okay, we have to kind of reinvent things so that we can expand and grow.